Hi guys, I'm Jaime. And I'm Carly. And together we are... The, the Duo. Duo! And today we're going to talk about... Illustrating a tangent line to the graph of a function at a given point. This video is part of our project in Basic Calculus where it aims to educate learners through the use of broadcasting media in teaching limits and continuity. And derivatives. The objective of this video is to discuss one of the basic concepts of derivative, which is to illustrate a tangent line to the graph of a function to a given point. Before anything else, let us first define a tangent line. During our previous years with math, we have established the fact that a tangent line is a straight line that touches a function at only one point. But in this lesson, a deeper definition of a tangent line would be made. Earlier, we have defined a tangent line, which is a straight line that touches the graph at only one point. On the other hand, a secant line is a straight line passing through two points of a function. As you could have seen, we have made uh, a one secant line. For now, choose another point Q1 in between P and Q. Connect the two points P and Q1 to construct the secant line PQ1. Choose another point Q2 in between P and Q1. Construct the secant line PQ2. Consider also the case when Q is to the left of P and perform the same process. Intuitively, we can define the tangent line through P to be the limiting position of the secant lines PQ as the point Q approaches P. If the sequence of secant lines to the graph of Y is equal to f of x through P approaches one limiting position, then we define this line to be the tangent line to Y is equal to f of x at P. From the previous illustration, we can infer these following definitions. Let C be the graph of a continuous function y is equal to f of x and let P be a point on C. First, a secant line to y is equal to f of x through P is any line connecting P and another point Q on C. Second, the tangent line to y is equal to f of x at p is the limiting position of all secant lines, pq, as q goes to p. Now guys, here is the process of getting the equation of a tangent line in point slope form with the use of a secant line. To get the equation of the tangent line, we first need to understand the concept that the tangent line is the limiting position of all the secant lines on the graph. Now let's first get one secant line from the graph, which is the secant line P, Q, where the coordinates of P is x sub 0 and f of x sub 0, and the coordinates of Q is x and f of x. Now we get the slope of the secant line where the formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 all over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 where x sub 0 is x sub 1 and x is x sub 2 and f of x sub 0 is y sub 1 and f of x is y sub 2. Therefore, we get the formula f of x minus f of x sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0. Now, this is the formula to get the slope of the secant line. Now, we can remember that the tangent line is the limiting position of all secant lines on the graph. Therefore, the slope of the tangent line is the limit 
of the slope of the secant line, which is f of x minus f of x sub 0, all over x minus x sub 0, as x approaches x sub 0. The equation of the tangent line in point-slope form is y minus y sub 0 equals mtl multiplied to the difference of x and x sub 0, where mtl is the slope of the tangent line and the coordinates of the point of tangency are x sub 0 and y sub 0. And also, y sub 0 can also be denoted as f of x sub 0. To use what we have learned earlier, we consider this example. Now we know to get the equation of the tangent line, we both need the point of tangency and the slope of the tangent line. However, given is a function and its point of tangency. So the first step is to identify the slope of the tangent line. Given the equation limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0, all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches x sub 0. And now we substitute where f of x will be x squared, f of x sub 0 will be 4, x will remain x, and x sub 0 will be 2 as x approaches 2. Now, if we directly substitute 2 to the function, we get 0 over 0, which is indeterminate. So, we manipulate the given rational function. x squared minus 4 will be x plus 2, quantity x minus 2, all over x minus 2. Then, we can cancel x minus 2, leaving us with the expression of x plus 2. So, the limit of x plus 2 as x approaches 2, wherein we can directly substitute 2, is 2 plus 2 equals 4. Now, we know the point of the tangency and the slope of the tangent line. Now, we both determine the point of tangency and the slope of the tangent line. And we can use it to substitute in the point-slope formula of the equation of a tangent line, y minus y sub 0 equals slope of the tangent line multiplied to the difference of x and x sub 0. Wherein, when we substitute, we get y minus 4 equals 4 quantity x minus 2. Now, we distribute 4 to x minus 2, which gives us y minus 4 equals 4x minus 8. And using the addition property of equalities, we add 4 to both sides, canceling the negative 4 beside y, which gives us y equals 4x minus 8 plus 4. And when we simplify, it will give us y equals 4x minus 4. And here, guys, is the equation of the tangent line at the function x squared in the point of tangency 2, 4. Basically, this lesson of illustrating a tangent line to the graph of a function at a given point is the first step to learning derivative. In order to understand the concept of derivatives, learning about this topic is vital so that you can easily absorb the concepts of higher topics. In summary, to illustrate the tangent line given a point, all you need to do is to find the slope of the tangent line, which is the limit of a slope of a secant line. And then, substitute all of the given to the point slope form of the equation of the tangent line, which is y minus y sub 0 is equal to m sub tl multiplied to the difference of x and x sub 0, where m sub tl is a slope while x sub 0 and y sub 0 is the point of tangency. Your turn!
Alright guys, thank you for watching. We hope you learned something new from our video. Again, I'm Aime. And I'm Carly. Together we are the Duo! Bye-bye!